so it's October 17th. It was out yesterday off of Point Judith Light. Got a little, little slower than it has been. Um, pretty stiff south wind yesterday, but uh, still managed to catch a bunch. Today I'm just kind of poking around. It's a little one. I'm on the east side of Jamestown Island. There's like a north wind, northwest wind. Just kind of nestled in here tight. A little deeper, a little deeper water today. I'm in about 45. Water's still warm. Water's 66, 65 and a half, 66. brisk out this morning. It reminds me deer season is coming up around season starts. The first weekend in November and it runs the whole month. They have an early muzzleloader season. I'll be I'll be doing that in the boat. Uh, it's freshwater cooled but the raw water side of this does need to be winterized so I'd have to do that. Usually but right before Thanksgiving I do that. But it's Felt a little brisk this morning, but it felt nice. Thank you. 
Jet ski guys are hardcore. Wouldn't want to be on a jet ski right now. No thank you. <laughs> I'm just kind of I'm waiting a little bit today on these hits. Yesterday was more right after that first tap tap, right at the beginning of that second one. I'd hit him and it was working. Today I'm kind of waiting and it seems to be a little bit better. I'm letting him click click. I don't know if it's because it's a little deeper or what it is, but I'm letting him kind of just kind of eat it that little bit more. Taking the hook out of these, I usually leave a rod length worth a line. This rod's seven foot nine inches. So you see your fish. I'm gonna leave them, pull them, grab the leader. I'm right hand dominant. <clears throat> and you know the bibs, I just lay them against here. I'm gonna put my thumb just, just, just gently, gently under his gill. And that's it, I'm bending the fish, I have control of him. I'm in control now. And just simply take the hook out. This is good, you don't wanna use a D hooker. Oh, that's kinda of in there. You know, you wanna to touch touch your line, just a small one. Touch your line, feel the edge of your hook. Hooks needs to be honed. Um, get a good feel for it, get a grasp on the fish. You know, I wear these bibs all the time, but it's good. They kind of act as a rag. They keep you warm, keep you dry, and they're good for helping take fish off. Dogfish, dogfish will spine through it, but a small fish like that, those dorsal fins, they won't go through it. So just under the gill, get them under the gill. these I'm going just behind the gill right hand dominant so I'm just right hand behind the gill lifting them that's probably a nice honest seven seven and a half pounder it's a nice mature
About a seven, probably. Thirty-three. Maybe eight pounders, pretty good. Ran me up to the front of the boat. It's about an eight, nice eight pounder. It's a big boy. 